Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? Let's go over to the world of direction and our man, Mr. Dave Mazza. Dave is a head of product and a managing director, director at Direction Shares. Dave Mazza, welcome back to TFNN. Hey, happy to be back. Listen, we got to talk about the bond market. And folks, inside the bond market, so as you come over to our website, the TFNN, you can hit that direction banner, you're going to bring it up, and we're going to talk about uh, the TMF and the TMV, depending whether you're bullish or bearish. Um, you know, it's pretty amazing, Dave. I mean, this is, you know, we, we hear everyone talking about that rates are going up, and there's no doubt the Fed fund rate has been going up. Uh, but the 10-year note has been going down. <laughs> I mean, we peaked out at 3.4 and we're 2.6 right now. Pretty wild, man. So let's talk a little bit about if you can explain both of these. And, and I've traded both of these. These are great trading vehicles, folks. Uh, this is the, you know, the direction 20-year plus uh, bear or bull fund. The bear fund is the, you know, the TMF, the bear, uh, the bull fund is TMF, that's what I like now. The bear fund is TMV. So pretty wild, it's pretty diabolical, isn't it, that the Fed's going up and the market's sending the rates down? Yeah, I think what we're seeing from a macro point of view is uh, a, a pretty difficult environment uh, for rates. And uh, that's, that's an insight that, that is uh, not insightful, but I'm being facetious here because we were in expectation, again, before we had concerns about economic growth, that we were going to see the Federal Reserve embark on a path of rising interest rates because inflation was higher. Yes. And what that could have done, especially because uh, even if we have the White House uh, set aside politics trying to redefine what a recession is, um, we know we have pretty strong, strong uh, job growth. And of course, that could change. But for the time being, sure, we actually could have an environment where rates were rising for a good reason. We were out of COVID. The, you know, there was not fears of, of the economy being shut down again. But now what we're seeing is rates rising at the same time. Inflation remains high and economic growth, um, particularly heading into the back half of the year, is questionable. And this has hurt banks. A lot of people, again, came into the, the uh, uh, year thinking financials were going to do well. But as this yield curve is flattened, though, it's created this really interesting trading trading environment. And so as noted, uh, TMF and TMV provide exposure to uh, 20, 20 plus year treasuries uh, in an amplified way. So these are tools for tactical trading. What I find fascinating, uh, but it makes sense performance wise, this is one of the only areas where the bear fund, so in this case, TMV, okay. has greater assets than the bull fund, TMF. Because Ooh, um, they, wow. they came, exactly, they came into the year um, being relatively similar, but that's changed. Um, so people are really positioned on that bear side. And look, it's been, you know, if we look uh, at the, you know, at the environment, it's an interesting one because you would say, hey, right, that trade hasn't worked um, for, 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 for the most part. Um, but uh, especially, you know, especially of late, but starting the year it did. So I, I think, you know, both of the tools are there depending upon what your, what your thoughts are on, on, you know, the long bond here. A great explanation, man. I mean, I, I think this is the first time I'm trying to I, I'm trying to like think back that I've ever seen the Fed fund rate going up and the interest rates going down. I mean, and what I mean specifically, folks, you got to remember something. The Fed fund rate is bank to bank rate and they have raised it and they're going to raise it more. And what has happened in the marketplace, however, though, is that the marketplace is buying these tens. I mean, these 20s hand over fist driving the price down. So it's, it's a couple of good trading vehicles there in a huge way. You know, when we look at the broad market, I, I thought it's so intriguing, Dave, that you were talking about the aspect that the bear fund actually has more than the bull fund, because that, folks, is very unusual, because, you know, the bottom line is that everyone, not everyone, I'm just saying in general, if we took a big picture, you know, the bull funds are where it's at, because on a long-term basis, gotta you remember something, Numbers are going to be higher. <laughs> I mean, that, that's what it comes down to. So when the when we're taking a look at the the, the structures in general, I mean, we have we have the the S and P's people can protect themselves with, as you just brought up, you know, the F A Z and the F A S uh, when they're when they're looking at the banking structure. That banking structure is going to get interesting, Dave, right? Because you know the reality is that these banks still are not paying us any interest, but yet 
their structure because of the, you know, the, the basically the Fed fund rate. It is, you know, their spread should should come up somewhat. Yeah, so you're absolutely you're absolutely right. So I think, yeah, we haven't seen an environment where the Fed is materially raising rates uh, and the bond market is, you know, at least those trading the long bond are saying, nah, we, we don't right. we don't believe it. Uh, we're already getting, you know, you, you know, Powell came out a little bit more dovish last week, but we're already getting other governors and folks saying, well, yeah, we're going to keep raising, but don't worry about 2023. Um, so that has put pressure on the macro side. And yeah. Bank, we're, people aren't seeing it in their checking accounts, right, or saying it in their in their in their savings accounts, meaning because you know much of that is dependent upon what the short term rates are doing, and those are going up, but not enough to offset what's happening on 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 the inflationary side. So, I think the TMF and TMV, if those aren't on traders' uh, radars, right. they really should be because you're amplifying exposure really to what already has long duration. And they're great vehicles, man. Well, listen, we appreciate the up, up the update, appreciate the education. You have a great one, safe one. We look forward to speaking to you two weeks from today, Dave. Sounds good, we'll talk soon. Thank you.